I was off yesterday, and this is what I come into. I got back stuck, I got to work, and I'm going to be by myself today. So, I think we need more help. I have kind of an idea of what I can handle, and this is pretty much all I can handle by myself. I'm a single mom with two kids, and I'm fighting for hours. Like today, I asked for today off. I didn't get it. Lifting people out of poverty makes their lives better. Hours that they are cutting because they say we aren't selling anything. Our shelves are staying empty because we have no one to fill them. I support the Workers' Bill of Rights because minimum safe staffing uh, ensures safe employees. Safe employees ensure safe customers and safe customers make safe communities. This video was intended to inform and educate the public. My name is Erica. I work in Olympia at the Franz Outlet and I support the Workers' Bill of Rights because Minimum safe staffing uh, ensures safe employees. Safe employees ensure safe customers, and safe customers make safe community. Hello, my name is Brandon Walsh. I work at Universal Place Safeway, store 0486, and I was off yesterday, and this is what I come into. So, I got perishable load right here. I got milk load right here. I got eggs back there. I got back stuck, I got to work, and I'm going to be by myself today. So, I think we need more help, and uh, something I've been preaching about for a minute now, and uh, I agree with everybody else that there should be no more skeleton crews. Uh, this is a lot of work for one person to do, and I'm a seasoned vet. I have over 14 years experience in retail and running departments, so... I have kind of an idea of what I can handle, and this is pretty much all I can handle by myself. So uh, things need to change. And uh, if I could be an example of us hard workers that are trying to carry a store, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be that. Uh, things need to change. So in my time with the company in itself, every year we have gone and had hours cut back further and further it's getting to the point where with all these extra steps and the hours that they are cutting because they say we aren't selling anything. Our shelves are staying empty because we have no one to fill them. And then they say, we just don't have the sales for it. But if we actually had people who are working and not one person in the department trying to do everything at once, we could probably staff our stores, get our shelves full and actually service our customers like they want us to. I'm Jenny Valentine. I work at Albertsons on Pacific Ave in Olympia. You know, I'd say number one for us is income. I'm a single mom with two kids and I'm fighting for hours and they don't want to give them to us. And they, they don't give us a predictable schedule. They, they don't let us pick our days off, really. I mean, it, it, you know, they'll say, oh, yeah, you can request it, but we probably won't get it. Like today, I asked for today off. I didn't get it. Um, the income is not sustainable for anybody. In somebody with children, it's even worse. I think lifting people out of poverty makes their lives better. That would change the lives of my children, their future. It would change their future employment, their opportunities. Um, and it would keep people from living in fear that they're going to be evicted because they can't pay their rent. And I would like to address how a living wage would affect my family. It would hugely affect my family, especially for the cost of food, the cost of gas, and let alone the cost of just living these days is extremely hard. Increase in wage would greatly help me and my family. My name is James Kiefer. We should have a security guard at night. They got one during the day. And I, I think it should, should be our safety because I've been assaulted at at night time, I got beat up. I'm Phyllis, I'm from store 265 in Puyallup. 
a livable wage would allow me to pay off bills. At my age, I have some medicals going on and um, I wouldn't have to worry about that. And my name is Samantha from Safeway 3545 and I would like to see all of us get our 40 hours a week and not have hours cut anymore.